Good morning, family. This is Miss Norma with our reading for October the 27th. Amen. And it's entitled, Answered Prayer. Let us pray. Abba Father, first and foremost, Lord, I ask that peace, Lord, and blessings would be the gift that you um, give to my Listening family today, Lord, Father, several venues that these videos go out to, Lord, I ask for your blessing and your healing as always. I thank you, Lord, for the strength that you give us to meet each new day when we wake up and we find ourselves breathing, Lord, and maybe lying in bed for a few minutes reflecting, Lord. But Father, encourage our hearts to talk to you first before we talk to anyone else, Lord. Father, may you lead us and guide us through every step of the day, Lord, because you already know the plan, the place, the things, the surprises, Lord, and the gifts that you have prepared for us this day. So thank you, Abba Father, for your grace, your mercy, your strength, but most of all, your love, Father. Thank you for the gift of Jesus Christ, Lord, that we don't have to taste um, death, Lord, <coughs> eternal damnation, Lord. He's already paid the price. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Morning once more, family. Our reading is titled, Answered Prayer. And as I said, this month we will be reading from the book, Living His Love for the month of October, amen. I hope and pray you have enjoyed the readings. And no, I have not forgotten the Proverbs. It's been, um, I guess I could say, a busy month, a challenging month. Um, and I thank you all for your prayers. I know that you all are praying for me. Amen. So I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Answered prayers. It shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. Mm, that's God's promise. And while they are still speaking, I will hear. That's Isaiah 65 and verse 24, and that's from the Old Testament, and the scriptures from the New King James Version. Amen. Amen. It says, During my life, I have experienced numerous incidents of God's handiwork in my life and the lives of others. I want to share two of those incidents. Once, I was in the secret Santa club at work. <coughs> Excuse me. With our names, we were asked to write three things on a slip of paper for our wish list. The person's name I picked included a devotional book on her wish list. I was acquainted with the devotional book ministry at our church and, and was impressed to purchase the book entitled Love Out Loud a copy of which I already had for my secret Santa gift. The day arrived for the clinic staff Christmas luncheon. We enjoyed the meal and fellowship. It was time to pass out the secret Santa gifts. When my time came, my coworker was not in the room. After the luncheon, I took the gift bag to her. Some time later, she came looking for me. After looking in her bag, she was am amazed to find the very book she wanted. She had seen the book in another place and had wanted to purchase it. I was thrilled to know that God had both of us in mind and led me to purchase that book. We were blessed by that experience. I'm glad that God used me through the workings of the Holy Spirit to bring cheer and to satisfy my co-worker's desire. In another incident, my time to be a greeter and hostess at our church was coming up, and I needed an inspirational thought to read after welcoming visitors to our church. I prayed a short prayer in my mind for God to give me special words to say. I searched the internet for a spiritual thought and couldn't find one that touched my heart. 
The next morning during my devotion and prayer time, the Holy Spirit led me to words in my devotional book. I received God's answer. I needed to speak on God's love and peace to the congregation. I was satisfied, and when I read the spiritual words from that book, I believed that others would be blessed. God's way is the best way. The Lord wants us to seek him with all our heart and with all our soul. Amen. And that's in Deuteronomy 4.29. Amen. And that's the Old Testament. He knows our needs and desires and is waiting for us to ask. Amen. Imagine that, family. God is waiting for us to ask him, to inquire of him. He, he has our steps already ordered. Amen. Amen. After all, he has promised. And this is from Philippians 4.19, and it says, And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Philippians 4.19, and that's from the New Testament. Our story today, Answer Prayer, was written by Carolyn Venice Marcus. Amen. Amen. Family, have a blessed and wonderful day by his grace. I will see you all on tomorrow. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, this is our reading. It's actually the reading for Sunday, October the 27th. But I would also like to ex extend to you all um, belated Sabbath blessings. Amen. I love you, family. Have a wonderful day. But just remember that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, loves you the best and the most and the greatest. And there is no love like his love. Amen. Blessings and healing and peace as well, family. Amen. This is Miss Norma signing off. I love you.